they emerge all of a sudden with their complete structures, complete systems and organs. They, with their symmetrical, symmetrical body plans, they arise. And uh, it's the Cambrian period that we observe the all phyla, that 50 phyla appear all of a sudden with their symmetrical body shapes, symmetrical body plans. Uh, uh, we can say that well defined. They, they are not uh, less defined, poorly defined, but well defined. Complete structures and systems we observe in their bodies. Yes. So, means creation. Yeah, it is very obvious that Darwinism is a pagan religion which goes back to the time of the Sumerians and the Pharaoh in the Egypt. It's uh, and the ancient Greece. Yes. So it's a pagan religion. Anybody who believes in Darwinism believes in a, such a small area of his brain. And this is a technical fact. This is, uh, you know, uh, the um, Harun Yahya, the, he has many books about this, The Secret Beyond Matter. It is a very important topic because that is a, a technical fact which shows us that we are only living in very small area of our brain and we are only direct contact with our perceptions in our minds. Now, we want to show you a small film this secret beyond matter is explained by Mr. Adnan Oktar, Mr. Harun Yahya in this film. And this is another fact of creation. Scientific fact. say if I mention time and space. I have a classic way of describing it. Let me tell you. Now, when I knock my cup on the table, you hear a sound. I knock it again, you have compared two times, two moments in your head. You call the difference between them time. That's a belief. But there is, in fact, just one moment. These things happen in a single moment. In other words, it's a complete belief. Einstein also says there is no such thing as time in empty space, in outer space. Time and space are completely relative, perception dependent. Since there is no time, just a single moment, everything is created and over and done within a single moment. In other words, all of eternal life is over and done within a single moment. But Allah gives this to us as a perception, as a belief. It's a belief of the brain, a system brought about by the logic in the brain, by way of comparison. Otherwise, there is no time. It is technically impossible for there to be any such thing. There is just one single moment. In that case, can we say that every moment of time is determined with eternity? Every moment of time is determined with eternity. There is just one single moment, and everything happens within that. Our past, the first explosion of the universe, the event known as the Big Bang, the passage of 15 billion years. 15 billion years is not even 15 seconds in the sight of Allah. It has come and gone in a moment. So time is fixed and unchanging. Fixed and does it change? Of course, it is dependent on perception. For example, there may be entities that are seeing Hitler at this moment. There may be people who have just seen Hitler's birth. There may be people who have just seen Napoleon, who have just seen his armies. This is something that is totally dependent on perception and on the entities at that time, on presentation. In that case, if the concept of time is just a moment, then the day, year, or century we experience take place in a single moment. Of course. Can we think of it like this? Let us lock someone in a room. Let us organize a false sunrise and sunset and eliminate the concept of time. You have described this very well in your documentaries. Shall we expand a bit? Yes, that person will definitely not realize, meaning that we can tell him anything in such a position. For example, if we put someone to sleep, artificially with anesthetics, and then tell him that four years have gone by. If we show him newspapers from four years later, show him the cuttings from them and say, you are unconscious, then he will certainly believe it. 
He will regard it as quite reasonable. Yes, this is a rather interesting subject. There is a saying about this, as time healing all wounds. Yes, when they say that time heals all wounds, are they acting out of that belief they form in their heads? Sorrows and fears may arise, but time makes one forget them. They come and go in time, but this is given to the brain as a perception, and it is Allah that makes them forget these things, otherwise time could never heal anything. In other words, it is a cause. It works like a drug there. That person uses time as a cause, as a kind of drug, and it happens under the effect of that drug. I am learning very interesting matters by way of you. Now, we have so many questions and comments. Time and space were created with matter. True. Shall we expand a little? At first, 15 billion years ago, scientists say there was neither time nor space. But they talk about matter in order to clarify this. Zero volume. Nothing. Then, they say, there was something infinitely dense. They say the universe formed when that exploded. In other words, they are in agreement with the account in the Quran. In the Quran, Almighty Allah says that He created the universe out of nothing. They have come to agree with what the Quran says, and it formed within a single moment. Time and space came into being in a moment with that explosion. In other words, All right, it stopped by itself. And this is very, very important topic, inshallah. It's a technical fact, which is explained uh, by Mr. Adnan Oktar in the detail and supported with the scientific facts, and that happened for the first time in the history of life, inshallah. With the scientific facts, he, uh, uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar is the first one to explain this uh, topic, because this topic was explained before, like, for example, the philosopher George Berkeley and Imam Rabbani, uh, the uh, Imam Rabbani of Islam in the past. However, this is the first time that Mr. Adnan Oktar explained this with the scientific fact, as a technical fact, mm -hmm. that uh, we're living in our brains. We never are in never direct contact with the real existence of the matter outside. Mm -hmm. In fact, there is no light outside, there is no sound outside, and we are only direct contact with our perceptions. Yes. And they are all created by Allah. Yes. To this system and the creator of this system, we uh, call him the creator Allah, inshallah. Yes. So we live in a world of perceptions. This is a scientific fact. We live in a uh, coded system and there is the coder, there is the creator. Uh, this proves, this per world of perceptions uh, proves the existence of one God, one Allah, inshallah. Inshallah. And this is also a fact which is stated in the Quran. Uh, remember, uh, Mr. Adnan Oktar said, the, uh, we are created, there is no time for Allah. Time is created for us. And in an endless part of a single moment, in an infinite uh, uh, part of the single moment, Allah created the past and the future mm -hmm. and finished, inshallah, creation. So, this is a fact from the Quran, it is a fact from the science. In that way we can understand the Qadar which is mentioned in the Quran. Yes. Time, is, uh, time is just another uh, type of perception. So, Allah is beyond, is, is not bound to time, but crea cre he, uh, Allah created time as a perception again. And also we know, uh, for example, uh, the Big Bang theory has shown us Allah created time, space, and matter out of nothingness. Mm -hmm. So this is a fact from the physics and astronomy. We know Allah created through Big Bang the time, space, and the matter out of nothingness. Inshallah. Now we will continue, inshallah, with this topic on and off because this is very, very important. So this understands that uh, Allah is everywhere, and this is a fact from the Quran because Allah says, for example, wherever you turn face, Allah is there. Allah is closer to you then your jugular vein, inshallah. Mm -hmm. I seek refuge from, uh, with, uh, I seek refuge with Allah from a curse Satan. So, these are, what Allah tells us in the Quran, and we know this as a scientific fact, inshallah, mm -hmm. that shows us that Allah is the absolute being, inshallah. Inshallah. And we are the shadow beings. Mm -hmm. Only reflection of Allah, inshallah. Inshallah. 
Uh, maybe we can finish for tonight. Yes. Tomorrow, inshallah, starting at 2.30 2.30 uh, a.m. Turkish time. Again, uh, we will speak, inshallah. So, until tomorrow, we say, we wish you good night and salamun alaikum, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And hello uh, to everybody, inshallah. Inshallah.